Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn Just Be With Mahesh. Today we'll see a very very interesting topic and a very short topic. So the topic name is something like this. What you see is what you get. This is specifically in the context of cloud build. So I'm a really a great fan of cloud build because this makes your it's like a serverless CI CD uh, process which you get in GCP. So people who have worked extensively on uh, Junkins and all kind of stuffs. So cloud build could be something a real and interesting topic for you and this is totally be uh, it's totally serverless offering which Google provides. So meaning you don't need to worry about setting up an infrastructure all those things. You write your pipeline in such a way that it's going to execute the steps easily and uh, do the necessary stuff. So when you are writing any pipeline right you will definitely require certain builders meaning whether you want to do a docker build or you wanted to do something with uh, G Cloud, GS Util, there will be lots of utility. Or maybe if you are coming from Java background, you wanted it to have some Maven. Uh, or if you are using uh, Node.js, you will use NPM. So you'll different have lots of build tools are required. So Google Google Cloud Build provides you some lots of uh, inbuilt cloud builders. And by doing into that, right, looking into that, looking into that, we'll try to understand. What is the one which is mentioned in the documentation? The same thing you get in actual reality. So that is a cool part of it because I've seen many documentation, um, many other documentation, not even cloud, something else where you you get a very nice marketing content, but when you look into the actual implementation, nothing would be there. So, but when it comes to GCP, what they mention, you get the same thing in the reality. So that is a key indication which I wanted to show in this demo. So let's get into the demonstration. So we are in this uh, official page uh, called as cloud builders. So you can see cloud builders are container images with common languages and tools in them. So you can configure cloud build to uh, run a specific command within these builders. So for example, just to give you, if you are doing something with uh, say for example, Docker, when you wanted to do Docker, right? If you are doing it in cloud shell, you will get an inbuilt Docker image. That's fine. But if you are doing something uh, not in cloud shell because you are writing a pipeline something like this so this is a pipeline which is available in my uh, github page uh, i can make this uh, it's already public i'll put the link in the description so usually if you see right uh, let me just zoom this a bit so if you see the first step i wanted to clone from a repository then i am going to do docker build then docker push then kubectl to update the image of a uh, uh, update the image of a workload. So if you see, these are all builders: Git, Doc, Docker, kubectl. These are all builders. So you should have an image, a container image of these things when you are running it, because cloud build basically is nothing but a virtual machine. So it may not have all the necessary uh, tools there. So you need to provide them. So it has to be in a containerized form. So for that only Google provides you this inbuilt builders. So to get the complete list, you can just click on this and you should be able to see the complete list of it. When you click, it takes you to a GitHub page, official uh, Google Cloud's GitHub page, various stuffs. All the stuffs which we had seen, curl, docker, G cloud, git, most of them are there. So you will be able to see these are the official uh, builders. Now, still for some people, what is this builder may not be very relevant or may not be very something easy to digest. So I have shown you the code also. This is how the stuffs looks like, but just connect the dots of what you have learned. So in GCP, whenever you build a container image, where do you keep the container image? One, uh, if you have a account in Docker Hub, you will keep it. Otherwise, if you don't have an account in Docker Hub, the best place to keep a container image is GCR, Google Container Registry. Now, what it basically means is you are trying to access these things from a public GCR. So Google has created a Google Container Registry and, it's, and they have made it public accessible to everyone still not clear just show you let me just show you this link so just go to console.google.cloud.com sorry console.cloud.google.com slash gcr slash images slash cloud builder let me put this link in the description you can look into it what it means is these are your official cloud builders available so now you should be able to connect the dots here what and all you saw as a complete list here if I just click on it, 
so these are all the complete images so that is already made available in your GCR so this is a public registry so if I just click on one docker when I click on it you'll be able to see the URL of this what is this path which you see gcr.io slash cloud builder slash docker now copy this go to your stuff here now if I just do something like uh, notepad and just paste your content here now you should be able to connect your dots you see this gcr.io cloud builders dot docker so this is what is it means basically these are all publicly available container images hosted in GCR so Google's uh, private docker registry so now you are able to connect it right since I mentioned this I thought of adding one more thing so what you see is what you get so that is what I wanted to convey and let me show you one more thing which could be really helpful uh, so these are inbuilt docker uh, so inbuilt images which you get in GCP but not every time the the inbuilt stuffs would be fulfilling your requirements so Google also provides it provides contributed community contributed builders there are lots of stuffs like this so if you click on this right it will take you to the community page where in the community page you see lots of stuffs like uh, even AWS CLI commands are also available so uh, so good amount of stuffs are available and one such thing which I have recently used which is really working fine for me is remote builder so this could be a really important option which you can try to do it in simple terms to understand the description of it right let me just click on this what this remote builder does is basically uh, it creates a virtual machine so inside the virtual machine you build your own stuffs what and all stuffs you want to do so for some uh, one, for example a specific use case you have uh, say for example bit bucket a private bit bucket so definitely bit bucket is not Google's product or GCP product so it's a different uh, it's a third party uh, cloud so it's a third party repository source repository now you wanted to integrate bit bucket and uh, Google Cloud meaning you have some source code when you commit that that should trigger a cloud build and all those things should build a image and push to a private kubernetes cluster so if you have such requirement right cloud builder is a good choice which you can use here so it creates your own virtual, virtual image and because if it's a private kubernetes cluster right uh, you will not have an external ip address so but if you create a virtual machine in the same network it can use the internal IP address to communicate and you should be able to do kubectl, uh, get pods, kubectl, set images, all the commands is possible. So, so whenever you do a community builder, right, you need to build that image and make sure, so if I just scroll down, this one is a very important one, try to leverage it. So when you build this one, right, you will not get something like this. So it's not going to be a public uh, GCR uh, repo, but it has to be in your specific project. So when you are doing something like this, right, you will mention GCR.io instead of cloud builder. Cloud builder is basically the project name. So it will be your project ID. So it's not project name, it's project ID. Your project ID slash remote builder. So that is how it has to be. So if you want to know more details of how to do build of this remote builder, uh, look into the documentation. It's very simple, straightforward. Just use gcloud build, use that command gcloud build submit. You should be able to do it. So this is the most important screen which I wanted to show you because uh, for many of us in the beginning stage, it could be really difficult to understand where is this gcr.io coming? What is this? So gcr.io, that's how the path looks like. Uh, and if you're putting it specifically in US, you'll have us.gcr.io or if it's in U Europe, you'll have europe.gcr.io or if it's in Asia, you'll have asia.gcr.io. That's one option. And if you're not mentioning anything, it would be just simply gcr.io followed by cloud builder which is nothing but the project ID inside that you will have all this inbuilt uh, images and if you just click on one of them G cloud for example right you'll come to know the latest images so it's one hour ago 
a new image was built so that is how up to date google is trying to keep the images to try to leverage these official images whenever it is possible and your doubt of where is this coming from should be clarified by looking at this screen because most of us spend most of the time in this console right when you look something like this you will definitely understand the concept behind it so that's the reason i named the uh, video as what you see is what you get so that's the video which i wanted to share today hope you like the video uh, thank you for watching